Welcome to this UWA Study Smarter video all about writing clearly and concisely in crime and society at UWA. I'm Siri Barrett Leonard. I work with the Study Smarter team at the University of Western Australia and we've designed this as the second of three videos on this topic. Here we'll look at how to build cohesive paragraphs. Good writers ensure their paragraphs are cohesive, which means their paragraphs feel tight their ideas seem to belong together, and their writing just flows. Let's explore how they do this by taking a look at a cohesive paragraph based on one in which Ian Warren discusses how lawyers define crime. Pause the video while you read this paragraph, then we'll look at what makes it cohesive. Three things make it cohesive. Paragraph structure, sentence structure, and sentence links. Let's take a look at each of these in turn. If we look at the paragraph structure, we can see that it begins by stating topics up front. It then develops these topics in the remainder of the paragraph. In addition, the paragraph begins with simple, short, familiar information and concepts, which are followed by new, long, complex information and ideas. The paragraph's topic development structure and its movement from simple, short, familiar information to new, long, complex information help the reader prepare for what comes next and greatly assist cohesion. Sentence structure also contributes to cohesion. Like the paragraph as a whole, the front of each sentence begins with simple, short, familiar topics, and the back of each sentence develops these topics with new, long, complex ideas. Just as paragraph structure and sentence structure a cohesion, so too do sentence links. These include front-to-front -front and back-to-front -front links, as well as explicit cohesive markers. When you link sentences front-to-front, -front, you take ideas from the fronts of sentences and include related ideas in the front of subsequent sentences. When you link ideas back-to-front, -front, you take ideas from the backs of sentences and use related ideas at the front of other sentences. Explicit cohesive markers like connectives or transition words can also make writing feel more cohesive, as can pronouns, which are words like this, these, it, they, and so on. The best writers use a variety of front-to-front -front links, back-to-front -front links, and explicit cohesive markers. There are two things, however, that can disrupt cohesion. Imagine, for example, if the writer included this extra sentence and this extra connective in the paragraph we've just looked at. The extra sentence contains information that detracts from the writer's main point. In the context of this paragraph, the sentence is irrelevant. In addition, the use of the connective, however, is confusing and makes no logical sense. It's an example of false cohesion or trying to make ideas seem cohesive when they're not. In summary, you can write cohesive paragraphs for crime and society if you follow these guidelines.